So this is going to be my 12 week update and even though it's late it's better than not doing it at all so um as far as symptoms go i still had nausea all last week um wednesday was like the worst and it was the day that i actually went for my ultrasound and my um um checkup and all and so when I went, I told her about how bad the nausea was, so she gave me um, a prescription for Zofran, which um, it really, really does help, although my insurance will only pay for 12 pills in a month, <laughs> so I have to kind of be um, frugal with them, so um, anyways, but um, I've only had to take one, and that was on the day after Christmas, which was yesterday, uh, because the day of Christmas, or Christmas Day, I was like really sick too, but I just didn't really want to take one. Um, I don't really like taking a whole lot of pills, so. But um, also, still, you know, using peppermint and gum and stuff like that whenever it um, bothers me. So it's like ten times worse than when with when it was with Ella. So I don't know what that's all about, but this pregnancy is like totally different, which you know all pregnancies are. This is totally different, so. Um, having some headaches and <clears throat> um, I don't know if that's due to like me having my cold that I have right now I like or it. yes baby I um, or if that is due to the pregnancy so I was having headaches before with the pregnancy anyways so it's probably like a combination um, and then I've had heartburn on and off of course and I didn't have that with Ella and um, everybody says it means the baby has hair, but hair doesn't even develop at 12 weeks. So, I don't know. Um, yes, baby. And at our 12-week ultrasound, I really tried hard to, like, see what the gender was. But um, she even had it, like, up in between the legs and everything. And when they put the little probe on my belly, like, the baby was just, like, kicking its leg. Okay, Ella, you have your blanket. Kicking its legs like this, and very active baby. And the ultrasound's like, oh, the baby's in a perfect position and everything. She's like, I love when babies are cooperative. And so she gave us like four pictures, which I'll add those um, somewhere in this video. Um, let's see, I, don't, I think that's really it for symptoms, major symptoms, nausea, heartburn, headaches, um, that's really it as far as symptoms go, because I kind of got off on tangent, which I usually do with the ultrasound, but, um, really like that ultrasound. When, it, when I had my ultrasound with Ella at 12 weeks, all she was doing was like bouncing up and down, that's it. And I will kind of, I'll put a picture of her ultrasound in here, and I'll put a picture of this baby's ultrasound in here, and it looks like this baby is bigger than what Ella was, and it definitely has like longer legs too. So, um, we didn't get a 4D picture with Ella, but we got a 4D picture with this one, which I didn't think they did 4D until 20 weeks, but, um, anyways. Um, oh, and my back's been hurting, and I've been tired a lot, more tired than what I was with her, but I don't know if that's just because, you know, trying to take care of her and being pregnant at the same time and all that, so... Anyways, but someone um, asked me about my Doppler, and I meant to show it in my last, or my 11-week video, but I'll show it in this week's video. Um, this is a pocket fuel Doppler. It's the Sonotrax B, which everybody has this one. The um, only difference is, is that most people now, um, they get the ah, 3 megahertz instead of the 2, and you can tell if it's a... Um, if it's a two or a three by this right here, if you can, there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that two there, but it says two megahertz. Um, 
as far as like the quality and stuff of it, um, when I like am using it, if it gets even just the slightest bit disconnect disconnected from here, I have to like go like this and like see it now it's working, but uh, I have to do that. Um, and when I try to cut it on and off, it cuts on, but it never cuts off. Like it'll cut off automatically after a couple minutes, but I have to actually take the battery out to make it cut off. So I don't know if anybody else has this problem with this particular brand or what, but um, that's the problems that I've been having with it. And I don't know, maybe if I just got a crappy one or something, but I got this one like three years ago and it still did that three years ago when I got it brand new. Um, but it did pick the baby up at 10 weeks. So I was really excited about that. Which with Ella, I didn't get this until I think I was like 16 weeks or something like that. So anyways, but it takes um, two double A's. Two double A's in there. Um, and then you have to have like some kind of like KY jelly or you know some kind of lubricating fluid or whatever. Um, it comes with um, a sample pack basically when you get it. But, of course, that's going to run out because you're going to, like, constantly be listening to the baby. Um, so, I went to Walmart and got the Equate brand of it. The personal lubricant jelly because the actual, I think it said liquid, um, personal lubricant liquid or whatever it was. It was just so, it looked, like, so runny. And so, I got this. And this was only, like, $1.97 at um, Walmart. So, um, anyways, but... And it's four ounces and so I figure you know for two bucks I mean you can go and buy the really expensive stuff like the actual ultrasonic or aquasonic whatever it's called um, lubricating jelly stuff but I was like I'm not spending that on a little tube for like a little tube it's like twenty dollars and that's off like the medical sites and stuff because I already looked to see but this the this stuff works just fine too I mean it's like the same stuff so and it works just fine um, just need something to like create, um, like so you can move the probe around and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else from 12 weeks. Nothing really. I mean, I had my ultrasound, which that was that was fun, and then um, my doctor discussed with me. You know, she asked me about you know if I wanted to have a VBAC, if I wanted to have a C-section. Which you know I had already bought up. I was gonna have a V. I'm gonna try for a V back, and um, she has me, um, and she's gonna have me sign like a consent basically um, for the trial of labor. That's what they call it. And so um, I have actually already seen that consent because I work at the hospital that um, I had Ella, and then I'm gonna have this one at. So I had to go on um, with the internet to see like what kind of um, what what it said basically and I thought it was gonna be such like this horrific um, consent that said oh you know we're not responsible for this that and the other you know but it really wasn't like that basically said you know this is the risk if you have a c-section and this is the risk if you have a vaginal birth and um, it actually made having a VBAC um, <laughs> sound like it was you know definitely more safer which um, I've read that it is than having a c-section did you pee pee in the potty, baby? That's a good girl. Um, so, anyways, um, so I already seen, I've already seen that consent, and you know, I thought, oh my gosh, it's gonna scare me, and I'm not gonna want to have the be back. But um, they actually say that sometimes it can be um, a longer recovery with the second C-section because they're actually going through old scar tissue, and um, you have an increased chance of infection and complications and things like hemorrhage and all that but of course with vaginal birth you can have a hemorrhage too so um, that's why they they put an IV in you like an 18 gauge just in case you do have to receive blood so um, which I don't mind having an IV um, I just don't want to be strapped down to a bed and not be able to move around so anyways um I think that's really about it for 12 weeks if I forgot anything I'll put it in here at the end uh, I'll put my ultrasound pictures of my belly shot in there so that you guys can see that. I'll actually do like a live belly shot so you guys can see. Alright, so it has grown a little bit. My puzzle um, pieces. Yes, baby. Um, 
it looks just so big. Um, it just went from really small to like really big. Or something. Um, get it out. You can like really see my gallbladder scar too. So there's the front and the other side. The other side again. So yeah. Alrighty, and thanks for watching.